You know, I don't have to tell you guys about the Ned rig. It's been around now and it's been an awesome method. That's what we've kind of caught some fish on this morning. We've kind of been messing around with a couple of different uh, uh, Elastec and Ned rig style heads for bass to kind of show you the, the spectrum of what's possible with a Ned rig or with finesse style fishing and then even branch out even beyond that. But, you know, we started the day with uh, just a, this is your basic classic uh, TRD ticklers here. It's one of the real popular um, Ned rig baits. And it's just, you know, rigged with a standard uh, mushroom, the classic mushroom shaped head. And this happens to be a Nedlocks jig. And, you know, this is just your standard classic. You can put a TRD on there or any, any type of finesse bait. And there's almost no way to work it wrong. But again, the beauty of it is, is this elastic material. You can fish it all day and it just, it just holds up to fish after fish. It gets better, actually, the more fish you catch. And that's how the whole thing started. That classic mushroom head, really basic, unassuming little bait. And then from there, we've kind of started to uh, branch out into some different styles of baits, different jig heads. And, you know, the, one of the newer ones here, we were just throwing this a little bit, is this uh, football neds. It's just a little football, a little compact shaped football head. Of course, you guys know about football jigging, but this just lets you marry your favorite Ned Rig bait uh, with, with a football head. Get down really fast, great for river current, uh, deep, deep structure, deep rock. I've got a little a baby goat on here and the buoyancy of this, like we were talking about, really kind of activates that football head. So you get this pivoting action when you stop this thing and these little legs float up off the bottom and, and, uh, and make that, that jig head kick. And it's just that classic, again, that classic football shape glides along the bottom, you stop and it pivots and it's sort of like we say it self activates. So even when you fish really slow with Elastec, the buoyancy of it uh, kind of fishes for you, you might say. So that's been a good bait, good, good deep structure and river bait. Um, going past that, you know, one of the, the, the other jig heads I think is really cool is this finesse bullets. This is a neat concept. And it's one of those things that, that you can really only do with Elastec because, you know, you've got a, a basically a bullet shaped uh, jig head and you've got an EWG style hook and you've got this weight, but this, the toughness of this bait means you can actually slide that right over that weight. And if you did that with most plastics, of course, you're going to rip the bait, but not with this Elastec bait. This is a TRD craw and it just marries perfectly with this finesse head, this finesse bullets head. So you can fish it Texposed or you can fish it Texas style. And you can take your Ned rig anywhere. So you can go into vegetation with it, brush, you know, places where, you know, traditionally we don't fish a Ned rig. Now you can go there with this finesse bullets. And again, uh, just marry it with your favorite elastic bait. Great, great little, uh, great little option there. Um, you know, some of you guys are probably familiar with this here. This is uh, Wired to Fish, uh, Kyle Peterson came up with this. It's called a tiny child rig. And it just uh, lets you put a little uh, uh, TRD, uh, uh, peg weight right in the tail and then a, and then a, a little hook um, on the tip and you can this is like one of the most weedless little things you could ever imagine um, again it's just kind of shows you it's not a classic ned rig but it lets you use your little ned rig baits with uh, this little this little peg weight it just it just pegs right into the end of the bait and then you just texas rig with a little uh, nico hook um, on the tip like that so great bait for again cover situations um, you know, and then back to your classic uh, finesse shrooms. This is actually uh, based on a gopher, the original gopher style mushroom head. Z-Man actually reintroduced this a couple years ago. It's called the OG Mushroom. And that's actually Ned Cady's favorite color right there, that red with a little finesse shad. This is an awesome little finesse bait actually. And of course you can fish it on a drop shot too, but just a, a great little shaky head. Um, you can do some ripping with it too, uh, but that's, Another one of those finesse baits, it's kind of an overlooked one. I, I love this bait, it's super soft, a lot of action out of that thing. So, I mean, that's your Ned Rig category. You can even start branching out and you know, these, these swing heads like this, this is a, a new Texas Eye finesse head. It's a swing headed jig head. Uh, and again, that, e, that EWG style hook. And this is a TRD Minnows. And you just get a lot of extra action out of that bait because of that swing head. And then when you hook a fish on it, the fish jumps, they can't get leverage against you quite as much as they can with a regular jig head. Um, so just another option, another way to kind of activate that Elastec material. And then the last and probably the most newest jig head is the uh, Finesse Eye, Finesse Eye jig head. And you can use this as a swim bait head or with your like standard jerk shad style bait. This is actually a, a new bait called the Darters. 
which is actually a, a saltwater bait. We've cut it down a little bit, but it's really, really proven itself as a, a great little bait for, for moping or for Domeki style fishing, vertical fishing on your sonar. That's a great little option there. Um, and the cool thing on, on this, on the head on this, on this uh, finesse eye jig is it's got a stable track head is what we call it. So it's got a little channel underside that stabilizes that, that head when you pull it through the water. For, so for swim bait fishing or for your vertical fishing, it's not gonna roll over on you. And you can fish it you know, a little faster uh, at all speeds actually. And it's just a real stable head. And this is a, a scented paddlers on here. So you can, like I said, you can fish it as a swim bait too. So there's, as you can see, there's a whole, you know, a whole slew, a whole bunch of different jig heads you can marry with your favorite finesse baits. I mean, it's just not your classic mushroom head. There's just a ton of different styles, a ton of different baits. There's really no wrong way to fish these baits. As you can see, they absolutely catch fish.